Hello, I'm Ann Gritch, and I'm delighted to be here with uh, Manuel Barrios, who is one of our seminarians. He was not able to be with us when we interviewed the seminarians uh, earlier, so I'm delighted that he's here right now. And I'm going to ask you, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, glad you're here. And then can you just tell us a little bit about your background, where you were born, where you went to school, uh, your vocation story? Sure. I was, uh, I was born in Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh -huh. And my family brought me here when I was about 12 years old. Mm -hmm. My parents came in first. Mm. And then they brought us uh, three of my, two of my other sisters mm -hmm. and myself. We stayed in Mexico. And then we came after in the year 2000. Uh -huh. and, then and you came to Gilroy. I, I arrived to Gilroy, uh -huh. yes. I remember, remember the first store that I went to was Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what a Walmart was, was. but I went. <laughs> yeah, that's quite an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then my family has always been active in St. Mary's uh -huh. Parish. Mm -hmm. So m my parents always would go to Mass every Sunday, mm -hmm. still do. Mm -hmm. And and I, I was 12 years old, so I went to middle school, mm -hmm. uh, high school. I went to um, college, Gavilan College. Mm -hmm. And then I was planning to become an engineer. And I um, also played in a music band. I, I, I started playing in a band when I was 12 years old. All right. So I think through the music is where God was calling me because uh, when I started going to the youth group, I, I got very interested in the music they played in the youth group. Mm. And then I, I, I got the opportunity to play in the choir at St. Mary's. Ah. And slowly, slowly, I, I, God was calling me mm -hmm. through uh, different signs. My friends would tell me, uh, I have two friends of mine, mm -hmm. actually three, from the youth group that went to uh, religious life. Ah. Um, Any priests that were particularly influential? Actually, uh, yeah, yeah. So there, there are a few, a few. I think the main one, if you ask me now, my the priest that inspires me the most mm -hmm. is Father Dan Derry. Uh -huh. He was a pastor at St. Mary's for a really long, long time. Long time, right, mm -hmm. right. But there are there are other priests mm -hmm. who inspired me because of their humanity, how mm -hmm. they're were involved with the people mm -hmm. and I always thought that priests were so far away uh, uh, up on a pedestal <laughs> I, yeah. I thought that we, 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 we couldn't even say hello to them <laughs> and then all of a sudden I met priests who would joke around with me play mm -hmm. uh, play along with my jokes sometimes sure and then I wow that's not this that isn't bad. too bad this isn't too bad mm -hmm. <laughs> that is great yeah so you went to St. Patrick's then when <laughs> okay so um, I felt the, a strong call mm -hmm. when I lived a retreat, a part of the diocese, ah. a retreat that's part of the diocese, uh -huh. is a Spanish, Hispanic retreat. Uh -huh. And that's when I first felt that I think God was calling me through a mass. Mm -hmm. uh, right at the moment of consecration, my, start, my heart started to beat harder and I mm. began to cry and I said, maybe this is a call. Mm. So I looked, I, I, I said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up what the, what the priest uh, process of becoming a priest is. So I found out that there was a vocation director in San Jose. Uh -huh. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't, I, didn't know, I didn't even know how to spell vocation. That's great. <laughs> um, and they and I went to the vocation's office. I remember but this mm -hmm. was back in 2010 and I was dating at that time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm going to share this because I, I, I share this a lot. I didn't want to go by myself. So I went with the girl that I was dating. Your girlfriend. I went to the <laughs> vocations office uh -huh. and then Father, um, the vocations director at that time was Father, um, what was his name? Um, was it Father John Poncini? Father John Poncini. <laughs> Sorry, I, I know mm -hmm. him very well and I forgot sure. his name at this moment. So John Poncini and then he, that day he sent me to St. Patrick's. Uh -huh. He said, you know, you could go to the seminary here. And then I went to the seminary that same day. With your girlfriend. Yes, yes, she <laughs> went with it. me. So I, I saw the building and I, I didn't feel anything. I said, oh, maybe yes, maybe not. Mm -hmm. But I said, I'm gonna give this a chance, a shot. And mm -hmm. I, I, I signed up for the retreat, the re discernment retreat. Uh -huh. And then I didn't feel that strong call. I think I was lying to myself, maybe trying to not avoid the call. And then that's how I found out about St. Patrick's. And then ten, five years went by Ah. The vocation, the, my, my call 
came back again. Mm -hmm. And at this time, I knew what the seminary was. Mm -hmm. It was and you easy. You knew how to, to spell vocation. I knew how to spell <laughs> vocation. Yeah. And I filled out the application. And then I, I, but I didn't enter the seminary right away. They mm -hmm. told me since I was dating. Uh -huh. They told me they encouraged me to move in into the rectory first uh -huh. to see how the life of a priest was. Very so wise. I, I moved into uh, St. Martin Sun, uh, in, Ch in Sunnyvale. Uh -huh. St. Martin's Parish in Sunnyvale. Uh -huh. I lived there for 10, 10 months. So I, I left everything. I left my family, uh, wow. my friends. Mm -hmm. I stopped dating and I moved into the rectory for 10 months. I packed my things and moved in. Mm -hmm. And so your guitar too, I hope. I took my guitar with me, <laughs> yes. And then, ten, and then I packed my things after 10 months. I got accepted officially into mm -hmm. St. Patrick's. I moved in. Uh, yeah, and that's how I moved in. And then a year later, they told me, pack your things, you're going to some to Mandalay. <laughs> <laughs> how did that feel when you heard that news? You know, um, it's, I didn't feel any, because I, I was in the middle, because I was just experiencing the seminarian life. Yeah, you hadn't been there very long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, different, my experience was different than the rest of the guys. Mm -hmm. um, I did make good friends there, who mm -hmm. I miss, whom I miss. Sure. But um, yeah, it was a, it was, it wasn't that hard for me. Mm -hmm. And plus, what I always tell myself is that when I said yes to pursue this vocation, mm -hmm. um, it didn't really matter the location mm -hmm. uh, or where I would go. I said yes, and I'm gonna. Location wasn't really. That's a wonderful. Thing, so. How is your family about your vocation? Okay, that's a good question. I think they, the dio diocese, did a good job of the transition. Mm -hmm. It was a smooth transition because I. I didn't go away right away. Mm -hmm. I, I moved into a parish, but I would still go see my family, my sure. parents. Mm -hmm. And same thing at St. Patrick's, uh, maybe a little less because I was studying now. Sure. So my family, it was a, it was a good process for them too. Mm -hmm. uh, slowly, I was uh, um, pursuing more of that vocation and they were very supportive. Great. Uh, I, I would like to emphasize that at the beginning, when I told my parents, they were not really supported. Not, not that they were not supportive, but they were a little worried because in other countries, the family pays for the seminarian to go to the seminary. Uh. So we're so blessed that the diocese, mm -hmm. which is the people in reality, pays, they pay for our formation. Right. So, uh, so your parents, it wasn't a concern about your life style right. it was more a concern about how are we going to make this happen that was one of their yeah. concerns so uh, mm -hmm. we're very blessed that our diocese and our bishop are, are they're very supportive mm -hmm. uh, we don't have to worry about the finance finances right yeah so your life here at mundelein a mm -hmm. little different from saint patrick's it is mm -hmm. it is uh, it's a bigger community mm -hmm. um, when i was at saint patrick's seminary I, I learned the, their names mm -hmm. maybe within a week uh -huh. or a month. And as at this point, it's been, we're almost at the end of the semester. And I don't know everybody <laughs> yet. Oh, well, all 200 plus. 200 I mean, plus. Yeah. Plus there is a, there's a few, a few guys with the same names. Oh dear. <laughs> but it, that's a really good experience. That's a really good experience. Mm -hmm. I, I love the fact that it's busy all the time. It's busy all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that is really wonderful. It's, you're still early in formation, but I'm yes. going to ask you anyway. What kind of a priest do you want to be? That's a good question. Um, I always picture myself as a priest that people could see and c could come up to that priest mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, I want to say, a, a trustable priest. Mm -hmm. Someone that could show them uh, the human side, but also the, uh, the holy orders. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I would like to be uh, maybe a... a I like to see myself as a chameleon or a hybrid priest <laughs> that, they, I, that uh, someone that could show the true worship of God, but at the same time to that, it, I'm a regular person, mm -hmm. regular someone. I was, I think, the least person that somebody would look and see, this person could be a priest because I was, I was playing in the band. Mm -hmm. I still kept and had my, a girlfriend. my haircut. My, <laughs> the only thing that I kept is my haircut. <laughs> I kept my haircut. Um, I grew up uh, with a regular family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to answer your question, I, I, if God willing, if God permits it, I would like to be a priest that could be a, a, an example of uh, uh, that a person like me could uh, show uh, a true God, living God, mm -hmm. Christ. That's beautiful. 
That is quite wonderful. Tell me, how do you stay connected with the Diocese of San Jose? Okay, I, I stay connected with the diocese, um, mostly with, through uh, Facebook. <laughs> uh -huh. through what the did we do media. before Facebook? I can't imagine. <laughs> uh, newspaper, maybe? <laughs> yeah, right, newspaper. probably. <laughs> um, Facebook, um, through email. Mm -hmm. um, I would never imagine that I would receive emails from a bishop, <laughs> and our bishop sends us email, Monsignor mm -hmm. Celia as mm -hmm. well, and our vocation director. Okay. And I call my family mm -hmm. um, very, very often. Well, and you had a visitor just the, this last weekend in Father Jose Antonio Rubio. Father Jose Rubio right. surprised us mm -hmm. with his visit That's too. Right. Is he's parochial vicar at the is. parish. Yeah. He is. He, he's, uh, he says that I'm going to be his replacement. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know about that. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a really good priest. Yes, he is. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's, but uh, yeah, we're so blessed that he came to visit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your parish here. The one that you're assigned to okay yes it's pr uh, mostly uh hispanic okay predominantly mm -hmm. hispanic and so I, are you ministering more in spanish than in english yes uh i go twice a week uh -huh. which I, I really enjoy going mm -hmm. i go wednesdays to teach catechism mm -hmm. to confirmation students uh -huh. this is the first time i, I experienced that too yeah and that's that's a challenge and it's a challenge and I, i'm so glad that they push our, the envelope to, for us to step up and do something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because I'm taking catechism classes as a new seminarian. Uh -huh. So teaching. I'm learning <laughs> the, the catechism and I'm teaching to the new students. It's a good way to learn. It is, it is. <laughs> and then I also participate in Sunday Masses, mm -hmm. uh, either one or two per weekend, mm -hmm. and help, uh, help the priest at the altar um, or whatever he needs. Whatever is needed, mm -hmm. yeah. And then mingle with the, the folk. <laughs> yes, uh, I, love, I love to walk around at the end of Mass or at yeah. the beginning of Mass and mm -hmm. just Stay get to hide. know people. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's always mm -hmm. good to uh, meet someone that's from California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just last week I met somebody from San Jose. No, really? Yeah, and he said, oh, when do you want to go? We can drive over there. <laughs> it's three days. <laughs> three days, Three day right. drive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I like meeting people at the mm -hmm. parish is a good experience. Yeah, oh, I can imagine, absolutely. And my understanding is that you will stay in that parish throughout your formation, Yes. Um, and which I think is just a wonderful um, program. Yeah, 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 yeah. yes. Because you will yeah, really get to know parish life. And, uh, that's a plan, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it's uh, for our diocese. Uh, I spent a couple of, uh, I, I went to a few parishes mm -hmm. a month, uh, maybe a week, mm -hmm. uh, and you're barely getting to know the people. And mm -hmm. I wish I could have stayed longer. Yeah. But then we understand that we have to move, and there's there's a few of us only. Yeah. So here it's possible for them to keep seminarians in a parish for a long time. Yeah. Which is what happens when you're ordained. You're in a parish for three or four or five years, and mm -hmm. then move. But you, you know, you're. Yeah. That's. I think it's a, it's a great program. I'm I'm very much impressed with that. So I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're liking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anything else we should talk about? Mm, uh, I would like to um, ask people to promote more vocations mm -hmm. and just to ask, invite. Particularly among the Latino community. I yes, think that especially. would be a gift. The last Hispanic uh, uh, priest that got mm -hmm. ordained from our diocese mm -hmm. It was back, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 2009, 2010. Probably. So was the last ordained yeah. from San Jose. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it's so God willing. We'll God willing, mm -hmm. right. Well, I appreciate your taking the time to come with us since you weren't able to be with us earlier. So thank you for carving out this time in your schedule. Thank you for coming all the way down here to visit us. It's also a blessing well, for you. Well, it's a blessing for us too. So many thanks. Thank you.